So hello again everyone. So I hope you are all guys having a good day. So I'm back with another video. So for today or for this video, I'll be discussing um, as much as I can um, and the coverage of trigonometry in the board exam or, or most of its topic covered by the board exam. So without further ado, let's go to the first topic. Okay, so... For number one, we got uh, the first topic we have is graph and properties of trigonometric functions. So for number one, we got a problem here. What quadrant where the sine and cosine functions are both increasing? Okay. So what the problem is asking is basically where is the sine and cosine are increasing both both of their values. So we'll be referring to this graph that I made. Okay, so for this one, you can simply say that the blue, okay, the blue line, okay, this one will represent cosine, okay, cosine, and then the red one, of course, will represent the The sine okay so what it basically means as you can see if you look at the uh, cosine first the value starts here right and then it goes down it goes down therefore you can say that the cosine is decreasing its value at quadrant one okay so we got quadrant one two three and four and at this region you can see that the cosine is still decreasing and then uh when you get to the third quadrant the cosine will start increasing up to the fourth quadrant so we can therefore conclude that the cosine uh, cosine is decreasing at quadrant one and quadrant two it is decreasing um, while it will be increasing its value at quadrant three and four okay so when we look at the uh, sine the sine graph or the sine so it started here and then from this region, from um, quadrant 1, as you can see, it is increasing. And then it goes down at quadrant 2. So it is decreasing at quadrant 2. And then it goes back. It's still decreasing again. It's, de it's still decreasing at quadrant 3. And it goes back on increasing its value on quadrant 4. So all we need to do is to find where the sine and cosine are both increasing. So as you can see, they will be both increasing in its value. Um, let's look at, uh, look, looking at the quadrant 1, cosine is decreasing, right? Cosine is decreasing and sine is increasing, okay? So, that's not quadrant 1. So, quadrant 2, they are both decreasing. Quadrant 3, uh, cosine is increasing while sine is decreasing. And for the quadrant 4, as you can see, they are both increasing at this time. So, we can simply say that the answer is quadrant 4 okay. at quadrant 4 sine and cosine are both increasing its value so that's our first problem let's get to the next one okay so for the next problem we got uh, find the amplitude period and frequency of the curve so we got here for number two okay so for number two let's first uh, put down all the given okay all the givens so we got a given of y equal to 2 sine times x over 2. Okay. x over 2. Or we can also rewrite this so that we can see it better. Uh, 2 sine 1 half x. Okay. So just, they're just the same. Okay. And then we are required now to find, we are required to find, um, amplitude okay so the symbol for amplitude is a and then period a uh, period is t and then frequency okay frequency is f okay now let's go to the solution okay so for the solution of this one you'll have here uh, let's try to I'll first write the model equation 
you're dealing with this kind of problem, this is the model equation. The model equation is y must be equal to a sine b x. Okay. And for this one, your a here, it will be automatically the, will be the um, amplitude. Okay. So this will be your a or the amplitude. Your b now will be. Uh, you don't really, but we can get the value of t. Okay. t or the period. For the value of period, you'll just have 2 pi all over the absolute value of b. Okay? And then for the frequency, that will be just the reciprocal of the period. Okay. So, based from the problem, we can say that um, using the model equation, no? using the model equation, a now will be equal to 2, right? And then b is equal to 1 half, okay? Therefore, we can uh, we can simply say that, we can simply say that a or the amplitude will be 2, okay? So, we already got uh, the first one. And then for the t, t is equal to 2 pi all over the absolute value of b which it's which is one half or simplifying that you'll have for pi okay so this will be the amplitude and this will be the um period so for the frequency all you have to do is just uh, reciprocal the period okay therefore the period will be or the frequency will be just for pi okay. that's it so let's get to the next problem. Okay, so we got the next problem. So find the period of the curve y equal to tangent 3 x. So this will be for our number 3. For number 3, okay, we got a given of y equal to tangent 3 x. Okay? And then now we are required to find what? We are required to find the period or t. So, for the solution of that, the model equation is still the same, okay? uh, almost the same. Okay? It will be y equal to a tangent bx. Okay? So, based on the model equation that I wrote, we have here a will be equal to the 2, 1, right? And then b is equal to 3. So, simply if you want to get uh, t or the period, it will just be only pi okay because it is tangent and the absolute value of b okay so using that formula you'll have period period will be equal to pi over 3 absolute value of 3 therefore the period will just be pi over 3 okay let's get to the next problem okay getting to the next problem we have uh, number four, right? For number four, find the amplitude of the sinusoidal curve y equal to 3 cosine 2x plus 4 sine 2x, okay? So we got a equation here. Let's first write down the given. We have y equal to 3 cosine 2x plus uh, 4 sine 2x, okay? So in that case, for this one, You'll have here you'll have here um your alpha and beta okay and for this one this will be your um alpha and then this will be your beta okay that will be your beta. Now we are required to find um, amplitude, right? Amplitude, therefore, A or A. Okay, for the solution, for the, uh, for the solution, if you already have the value of um, alpha and beta, 
So in this case, your alpha will be 3, right? And then your beta is 4. So the A or the amplitude will just be simply the Pythagorean of the two. Okay? So alpha squared plus beta. So, A now will be equal to the square root of um, 3 squared plus 4 squared, or and this will be simply B5. Okay. So, we're done with this topic. Let's go to the next topic for the trigonometry.